Aquarius, welcome to Hadia K. K dropping gems. I'll be doing Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, second and seventh house for November 2019. Hey, 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 we are in Scorpio season. How are you? How are you? I love you guys so, so much. I appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments. Please let me know how your November is gonna go, baby. Okay. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and like, okay? Click that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Welcome to the family, okay? Hit that turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified of my videos, baby, all right? I'm going to start off with your meditative messages and then go into your mirror messages, your archangel messages, and then your money and you and your boo for the month of November 2019, all right? I have my love oils, clarity oils, prosperity oils, protect. Prosperity protection kits as well. My Pella Sento, my Sage. I also have my Yoni Steam, three to four different flavors. My Sugar Scrubs. My Facebook Shedding Skin, where I talk about twin flame, karmic relationships, as well as energy vampires. If you guys are interested, all that information will be in the description box below. I am having a sale, $25 via Cash App, guys. My cash tag is available below. Again, $25. You guys can let me know your full name, your focus, life, love. Uh, career and we can go ahead and get started and we'll see you know let's see what's going on so I can't wait to um, hear from you guys I love you guys so so much and let's get it started okay so Aquarius for the month of November 2019 thank you spirit okay so I definitely feel like there's a need for you to there's a need for you guys to pace yourself some of you guys can be sick or um maybe this is like sinus something to do with your nose your head okay there's a need for you guys to drink more water or rest or get more rest is what i'm hearing i feel like a lot of you guys um can be working like uh i'm getting something with your arms why am i doing this it's kind of maybe like you guys need to like stretch stretch in the morning or stretch your limbs stretch your ligaments or something like that is what i'm hearing i'm also getting um be gentle with yourself this month because Scorpio is um, like death rebirth. So I feel like a lot of you guys, um, there are a lot of situations that are going to be coming up this month is going to be allowing you to purge or allowing you to see, allowing you to be illuminated to growth or self-improvement or things that you want to work on, things that you want to continue to have in your life, discard, add, etc. Okay. I'm also getting movement, travel, Arizona. Um, I'm also getting New York. I'm also getting Miami. I'm also getting... Um, Brazil as well as Peru so some of you guys can be wanting to travel towards these places or something of that nature Maybe these are things that you guys are studying in school if you guys are in school or something of that nature, okay? so Aquarius, thank you. What messages do I have for my Aquarius? For the month of November, Sun, Moon, Rising, 2nd, 5th, 7th house, Mars, Mercury, and Venus collectively for November 2019 Boundaries Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys are needing to set boundaries. Have you set boundaries with yourself? Have you set boundaries with others? Do you set boundaries with yourself? Do you set boundaries with others? Are you able to? Are you able to be vocal about saying no? Can you say no and mean it? Can you say yes and mean it? This is also you putting putting boundaries within friendships, family, um, yourself, not self-sabotage, self-negative chatter. A lot of you guys are needing to have boundaries within your own mind so that you're not really thinking so much into a depressive state or thinking yourself into negative Nancy, okay? Because negative Nancy thoughts don't generate positive stuff. They generate negative Nancy stuff. So boundaries is also being able to set boundaries when it comes to communications or what you expect or what you uh, want, what you expect or what you want to receive, okay? Nurture. <clears throat> so six. Boundaries, so six can be significant, okay? 21, nurture. A lot of you guys are really needing to nurture yourself. Nurture your divine feminine. Nurture the parts of you. This can also be, do you know about your womb? Are you connected with your womb? Do you think a period is nasty? Do you think your menstrual cycle is nasty? If you think that a menstrual cycle is nasty or is painful, there's also need, you needing to nurture, um, nurture or educate yourself more on your womb, on your cycle, on what it means, okay? This is also you needing to nurture the divine masculine if you're a guy. You need to nurture yourself. You need to take take time 
take time to learn you, whether you're a female or a male. You need to take time to learn you, to nurture yourself, to create boundaries. Create boundaries so that you can create healthy relationships and have healthy relationships, have healthy um, boundaries with people, okay? Nurturing yourself with water, with sleep, with rest. This is also a baby. This looks like two babies, two embryos here. So this is definitely like um, nurture when you're when you're having birth or giving birth to something. You're in a, those nine months, the mom is in a, um, a nurturing state. Paying more attention to her mind, body, and soul. Paying more attention to what she puts in her body, what she feeds her mind. And maybe you guys can be finding out about a pregnancy or maybe you guys are needing to take this time during Scorpio season to nurture yourself. Nurture who you are. Your inner you. Okay? Aquarius collectively. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do I have for Aquarius for November 2019? November 2019, thank you. What messages do I have? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, Seven of Ariel, you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Seven, seven, seven. So, conflicts, challenges. This is also... You realizing that you've gone towards the next step. You can review your harvest. Whatever you've been working on, whatever seeds you've been planting, you've invested wisely. Have patience for growth. You guys can be wanting to grow or there's, there's a need for you to be patient with your flowers that are blooming within self. Okay? With your process in life. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. What are you going to do differently? What is going to be your next step? What's going to make you fulfilled? What's going to make you happy? You guys can also be being angelically guided as well. To move forward, the Ten of Raphael. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. So you guys can be moving forward. You guys can also be feeling some type of emotional fulfillment, some type of joy when it comes to family, friends. This is also completely awakening with somebody that is close to you. This can also be sex. Okay, so you guys can be having some type of... Uh, a sexual relations that opens up your heart. You guys can also be having some type of, um, some of you guys can be not really looking for love, but it's like you end up finding it anyway. The Ten of Raphael talks about a wrap-up, so I feel like you guys may have been waiting for some type of love or blessings to come when it comes to a relationship or children or some type of, like, real love or something here, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys can be single parents, and I feel like you guys can be meeting somebody that has children, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys can be in the park, or there's a need for you guys to be in nature. You're in nature with this person out on a date or something. And you guys are very happy. You guys are very joyful as well. I'm also getting this can be a cook. This can be some type of cook in or some type of gathering when it comes to family. And you could be meeting somebody there. Is also what I'm hearing, okay? <clears throat> All right, so. Aquarius, collectively, money and finances for the month of November. Money and finances for the month of November, thank you, Spirit. What messages do I have for the month of November 2019 for Aquarius? Okay. Okay. So the Three of Swords, the Lovers, the Nine of Pentacles here. So I definitely feel like you guys, when it comes to money and finances, you guys are healing from a third party situation or some type of heartbreak. But I do feel like someone is coming back. Okay, this is somebody from your past and someone that you were strongly connected with. I'm also getting you are feeling very connected or strongly with somebody here. I do feel like you are focused on your finances or focused on your growth, even though there might be some type of relationship that is around you or someone that's in your energy that's giving you a cup of love or giving you some type of offer. I feel like you guys are really focused on yourself and focused on building your finances at this time. So, I definitely see that you guys are taking control of your of your life, okay? You can also be getting some type of work. Um, this can also be some type of uh, opportunity. This can also be some type of work opportunity here that you guys are focused. Or maybe you guys are focused on building yourself. Maybe you guys are focused on moving forward in life here. I feel like you guys are having a subtle approach. Or you guys are, are taking a more calmer approach towards certain things. I do feel like you're asking yourself what's important to you or... 
you're looking at your passions, you're looking at how you spend your time, your energy, and you're asking yourself, what are you passionate about? What's your, what are your creative endeavors here? I feel like you're getting out of your head. You're, you're getting unstuck. If you were stuck, you're getting unstuck here. You're realizing that the magician, you can manifest and you have all the tools that you need to, to manifest what you need. Okay, you're feeling emotionally fulfilled when it comes to a job. Okay, maybe some of you guys are speaking out or telling the truth. Um, speaking out on how you want a raise or how you want some more uh, money here. I feel like you're very creative, very attractive at this time. You can also be on your menstrual cycle as well. You can also be manipulating the moon. The Ace of Cups is you getting some type of emotional fulfillment. I feel like some of you guys are moving forward. When it comes to a job here, you guys have made a decision. Some of you guys have made a decision and you guys want you guys want opportunities that are going to be 50-50 when it comes to your career and finances here. You guys know that you have to walk away from something, but I do feel like there's action that's not being taken. Some of you as well, I do feel like you guys can be feeling like you need to get out of a situation when it comes to your creative talents or when it comes to you could be a a teacher some of you guys can be a parent a child's mother child's father and i feel like some of you guys this can be uh you being pregnant i feel like you being pregnant what is this pregnancy you being pregnant i feel like it has pushed you to to realize that you don't want third party situations or opportunities or uh Oppor yeah, opportunity that's not going to give you the the benefit, that's not going to give you the 50-50, the money that you deserve. I'm also getting you guys, can, if you guys are not pregnant, this can just be you trying to focus on your own self here. You guys can also be very attractive, very handsome, very handsome, very beautiful, very ambitious at this time. You guys are trying to make a decision on your creative talents or your endeavors here, and I feel like you guys can be choosing to not put time and energy into this type of lease contract or this business, this company here, you guys know that you have to walk away from some type of company or lease agreements, some type of contract, but I feel like action isn't being taken for some of you guys. So I feel like some of you guys, you guys are really needing to ask yourself what you want, or you're working on, you're trying to figure out what is beneficial for you, you're trying to ask yourself what do you want to manifest, okay, what's going to give you emotional fulfillment, okay? You and your boo, Aquarius. You and your boo. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do I have for you and your boo, Aquarius? Some will rise and collectively. Some will rise and collectively. What information do I have for you and your boo? Some will rise and collectively for the month of November 2019, Aquarius. Thank you. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so I definitely see there's change that you guys are resisting or there's some type of transformation, rebirth. Um, this can be some type of change like mind, body, and soul. This can be a thought process. This can be a way of being action, something that needs to change. I feel like you guys are resistant or you guys are fearful um, or this, this com there's some type of anxiety or stagnancy when it comes to making some type of change. Or making some type of transformation when it comes to a relationship or self here. I feel like you guys can also be having some type of financial hardship. You need to save money here. There's unknown situations that are happening here. And I feel like you're having to compete. Okay, or there's a lot of people involved. A lot of people trying to put in their two cents in a relationship here. And I feel like you're having to balance out what you want. Or you're having to make a fair decision. Because there's a lot of people involved in the situation. Either in your... Either there's a lot of people wanting... Wanting to... It's either a lot of people giving their two cents or there's a lot of people either after you or after your partner here, okay? I definitely feel like there's some type of offer that's being denied or someone denied an offer here. It caused some type of change of the power where something is being broken down to be rebuilt. I'm also getting um, there's some type of change, breakup. There's some type of separation or maybe someone got blocked here. The tower talks about no communication or something was was broken down because it was built on faulty ground here. I'm also getting someone doesn't like the finances, the home environment. Someone is wanting to move. Someone's not happy here. I feel like there's someone's subconscious emotions. There's some type of secret, the moon. So I feel like either you or, okay, <clears throat> there's two sixes here. So I feel like your intuition is telling you here that there's about to, there's some delays or something is not, something is not going as planned. It's, it's also saying that if you are wanting to move forward into if you're wanting to move forward in the stormy waters, it's like there's some type of delays or it's like there's some type of secret. There's some type of secret and I feel like that's the reason why uh, either 
when it comes to your love relationships, I feel like either a secret is there's there's plans. Someone's trying to make plans. Either you're trying to make plans and you have a secret. And that's the reason why something's not going. The Queen of Pentacles, this is a mother figure. This can also be someone that's focused on their stability here. I'm also getting there's communication. Someone's looking to the past. So I feel like there's a secret. Someone has a secret. There's some type of plans that's not being made. Something's happening with somebody's car. Or this is something to do with money, finances here. Or some type of plan that's being made. The Six of Swords are very, someone was trying to move forward. But it's like they're still stuck or they're still stagnant because of the secret. Or because of whatever keeps replaying in their mind the queen of pentacles someone is trying to be successful someone's trying to build their wealth someone's trying to have balance or harmony but someone's still stuck in the past okay and i feel like the star you're getting your wish fulfilled so i feel like aquarius you could be getting okay for some of you guys i feel like a secret's coming out and i feel like you're trying to balance out your emotions but you're thinking of the past even though you're getting your wish fulfilled at the end of the day, I feel like you're getting your wish fulfilled or the star card. Some of you guys, something is going to be exposed, Aquarius. That's also what I'm hearing. Something from your past or if it's not something from your past, something that happens. It's like an emotional shift here. And it's like something is being exposed because the star is also like a spotlight. So something can also be shown. Something can also be shown to you, okay? But I'm also getting you're trying to balance out your emotions. So that's why I'm getting something that's getting exposed, okay? And I feel like this emotional shift, for some of you guys, you guys are focused on your stability and your finances. And I feel like overall, whoever, whatever the situation is, whatever, whether it's too many people, okay. So Aquarius, what I feel is there's some type of changes that you guys are resisting. And whether this is you having to compete or this type of competition, someone's competing for your love, you're competing for somebody else's love. Or there's a lot of people involved. I do feel like a fair decision is going to be made. I do feel like as well there was an offer that was denied. There's changes that are happening. Either a breakup or separation. Someone doesn't like how they're living. Or someone doesn't like the lack thereof of the finances or the structure. But there's a type of secret still. Someone's hiding something. And I feel like a mother, a mother-in-law or someone that's very affluent is also the queen of pentacles. It's like you're trying to focus on your finances. But I'm saying like. Your, your mother or mother-in-law. I feel like you're also getting some type of uh, har harmony or you're wanting some type of harmony. You want something to be balanced here, either when it comes to your mother, when it comes to this love situation. And I feel like something is having you stuck in a past. Someone is having, something is having you feel like you're having to shift your emotions here, but you're still ending off getting things done. Okay. I'm also getting, if you don't, if you don't like a home, if you don't like your home environment, I do feel like you guys are, you guys know that you need to walk away from something. You guys know that they, that you need to walk away. I'm also getting six and six is 12. So that's also three creativity children. The moon card, your subconscious emotions can be telling you that there's something that has to be, there's something, there's something more when it comes to creations, procreation, sex, children, relationships here. Okay, but overall, I feel like you're Aquarius, you are getting your wish fulfilled, or like I said, something is being exposed. So either one or the other, okay? I'm also... <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Something's being exposed, or... Yeah. A light is being shown on something, Aquarius, because my I just started choking, that's the soul chakra. Someone's not being honest. Someone's holding something back, or someone's not saying something. Okay? Peace, love, and light, guys. I love you like I love myself.